Walt Disney's storybook mansion in Los Angeles is a testament to the creative genius of one of the most influential figures in entertainment history. This estate was more than just a home to Walt Disney. It was a reflection of his imaginative spirit and love for storytelling. Walt Disney purchased the plot of land in the early 1930s and commissioned the construction of the house shortly thereafter. The mansion was completed in 1932 and is located in Los Feliz. Walt and his wife, Lillian, and two daughters lived there for 18 years before moving to their famous Homby Hills mega mansion. The Disneys left the house in 1950, decamping for a bigger house that had space for Lillian to garden and Walt to build a rideable model train in the backyard. The storybook mansion was designed by renowned architect Frank Crowhurst, reflecting a whimsical storybook style that perfectly suited Disney's imaginative personality. The aesthetics of the mansion drew on French provincial, country Tudor, and neo-Gothic styles, resulting in a space that feels grand and elegant, as well as tranquil as if the home itself belongs in a fairy tale. The interior of the house is as magical as its exterior, with custom details and handcrafted woodwork. Because Disney started construction in the midst of the Great Depression, many skilled laborers were available and eager to work. Supplies were cheap, and what would have taken much longer and cost more in other circumstances took only 10 weeks to build and cost $50,000. About $1 million today adjusted for inflation. At any given time, 50 to 100 people were working on the house, building the circular staircase in the foyer, inlaying stained glass pieces into the windows, hand painting intricate murals on the ceilings. Disney lived in this house during a significant period of his career, creating many of his early successes, including Snow White and The Seven Dwarfs, which was the first full-length animated feature film in history. One of the most striking features of the exterior is its use of unique storybook architecture. This style, popular in the 1920s and 1930s, is characterized by its playful, fantastical elements that often appear in children's fairy tales. The house features a variety of these elements. The mansion boasts charming turrets and gabled roofs, giving it the appearance of a castle from a classic storybook. These features add a sense of whimsy and fantasy to the structure. The house features beautifully crafted stained glass windows and intricate woodwork, adding to its storybook charm. These elements are not just decorative. They also reflect the artistry and attention to detail that Disney was known for. The grounds of the mansion are lush and meticulously landscaped with gardens that complement the fairy tale theme of the house. The landscaping includes a variety of plants, flowers and trees, creating a serene and enchanting outdoor space. The Disney house features exquisite woodwork throughout, including carved panels, beamed ceilings and built-in cabinetry, lending a warm, inviting atmosphere. The use of stone and brick in the construction gives the mansion a sturdy, timeless quality. The choice of materials also contributes to the rustic, old-world charm of the exterior. The mansion's color scheme is carefully chosen to accentuate its fairy tale aesthetic with warm, inviting tones that blend seamlessly with the natural surroundings. Stained glass windows, unique light fixtures and artisanal tilework add character and artistic flair to each space. Clocking in at 6,388 square feet, the home has a distinct Disney look. It features a Mediterranean entry, a circular rotunda, 
and painted vaulted beamed ceilings, as well as original stained leaded glass windows and a Juliet balcony. The home also had a theatre, of course, where Disney could watch dailies or screen-finished versions of the classic films that his studio had produced during the years. The house has four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and two half bathrooms, and sits on a bit more than one acre of land. The property has a swimming pool and enough driveway space to park ten cars. There is a two-story living room and two wings within the home. Designed by Frank Crowhurst, one wing of the house offers a dining room with French doors to the outside and a painted ceiling set amid interlaced beams. This leads to an eat-in kitchen with a center island, high-end stainless appliances, marble counters, custom cabinets, a walk-in pantry, and stained glass windows. The opposite wing features the movie theater and powder room. Upstairs holds the master bedroom, several closets, and a bathroom featuring dual vanities, a large dual head shower, and a centerpiece tub. The other wing on the second level features two guest bedrooms. Completing the upstairs is a family room with vaulted ceilings and access to a former sleeping porch. The mansion features a grand living room with high beamed ceilings and large windows, creating a bright and inviting space for entertainment. A grand fireplace serves as a focal point, providing warmth and a cozy atmosphere. Part of the land on which the Disneys had their house built has been sold. The house has undergone some renovations and refurbishments as well. The home still has a little cottage where Walt's daughters Diane and Sharon used to play outside. Since the Disneys moved, a swimming pool has been installed on the property, but the tiny cottage is still on the property as it was when Walt and Lillian lived on Woking Way. The interior of the mansion is equally enchanting, with each room telling its own story. The decor is a blend of classic elegance and playful charm, with hidden Mickeys and references to various Disney characters and movies subtly integrated throughout the house. The grand living room, with its high ceilings and large windows, offers a panoramic view of the backyard and even downtown Los Angeles. Walt Disney's Storybook Mansion, located near Griffith Park in Los Angeles, is a significant piece of Disney history. After Disney's death, the house changed hands several times, but continued to be recognized for its historical and cultural significance. It remains a symbol of Disney's lasting impact on the world of entertainment and the whimsical, innovative spirit he brought to everything he touched. As of now, it is owned by Kazakh film director Timur Bekmambetov. This mansion, where Walt Disney lived when classic films like Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, Bambi and Cinderella were released, is a symbol of Disney's legacy and is often highlighted for its historical and cultural importance. The Walt Disney Storybook Mansion in Los Angeles stands as a tribute to a man who transformed the entertainment industry and brought joy and wonder to generations of audiences worldwide. It's a landmark not just for its architectural uniqueness, but for its representation of the dreams and aspirations of one of the most iconic figures in American history. After taking a look at Walt Disney's house, what are your thoughts? Is his home as spectacular as you thought it would be? Would you like to visit this house? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and catch you in the upcoming video.